Hi, I'm Ashley. Hi, I'm Kale. And, and this, this is Rope TV. TV. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rope TV. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Welcome to Rope TV's first birthday. We have a great show lined up for you. And we also have some special characters helping us host the show. Hey, hi yeah. Ashley, hi Carol. Hi, hi. Ashley. Yeah, hi everyone. Hi Dr. TV. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah my, my, my name is Trog uh, and this is my little sister Marina. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I own my little, I own my friend. Yes, yes, and, and we're from Larrikin Puppets and we're going to help you guys host the show today. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. What's it like being a star, Ashley? Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're nice, hey? Yeah, is it fun being on TV? It is. It is lots of fun. Wow. Have you had a great year, Kale? Yeah, a great year. <laughs> oh, that's good, hey? I love being on the TV. Yeah, me too, me too. Yeah, well, we're, we're, we're very happy to be guests here on Rope TV. Yeah, you must have heard lots of stories. Oh, yeah. we, we should have. That's it's quite an adventure here. What's that? It's been quite an adventure yourself. <gasps> adventure? Yeah. Oh, I love really adventures! <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, yes, you've covered so many, so many different stories and lots of different guests on the show too. Yeah, we have. Wow. Well, that's great. It is. So, you guys are puppets, right? Yeah. Oh, what? Puppet. No, I'm a monster. Oh, yes, but Marina, you are also a puppet. Uh, no, I'm real. Yes, you are a real puppet. <laughs> Oh yeah, a real, a real puppet! puppet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, you know, it takes puppeteers to help puppets come to life and, and move around and everything. Yeah. Uh, would you like to know how to be a puppeteer? <gasps> yes, yes, please. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. yeah it's fun, hey? Yeah. It oh, really well, is. check this out. <laughs> Well, well, I think we should learn all about the wonderful world of puppetry. What? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think we should talk to a few real puppeteers. <gasps> oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh yes, this is my voice. <laughs> and this is my normal voice. <laughs> and yes. this is my voice. And what's your puppet's voice? Oh, this is my voice. I'm Brett. And I'm Elisa. And we are... Larrican Puppets. Oh, yes, yes. Hello there, free range the chicken. Yes. Bop, bop. Hello, my, my name is Scrambles. Bop. Hello. Hey, how about a high five? Bop, bop. Yeah, bop, thank bop. you. Oh, that's bop, great. Bop, bop. Oh, I like it. Yeah, I like your song. Bop, yeah. bop, bop. Oh, that's bop, some good dancing. Bop, bop, bop. Oh, yeah. Oh, bop, bop, bop. <laughs> Hello. 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 Wow. Do you like our puppets? I do. They're so amazing. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to learn how? Yes, to please. do puppetry. <laughs> I love to. Really? Thank you. Wow. Yeah. Would you like to choose one of these puppets to have I'd a go of? To. Um, I'll go with this one here. Yeah, the purple oh. monster. The first thing we like to teach is lip sync. That's making the puppets talk and move their mouth. A great way to practice is to kind of go A, A B, B, C. A, B, C, D, E, F. G. And then these sticks, you can uh, use them to make the puppet's arms move, so you could make yeah. it waving. Oh, do you want to try? Oh, yep. Here okay. Waving. Oh, yes. <laughs> Very nice waving. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's And what good. about uh, scratching the puppet's head like this? Oh, I, I'm thinking. <laughs> and I'm itchy. And I'm thinking about being itchy. <laughs> yes, thank you. What about uh, rubbing the tummy? Oh, yum, 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 I'm hungry. Yeah. Lunch time soon. And Very dancing? Nice. Did we do that? Yeah. We haven't well, done dancing We could do a bit of dancing yet. like this. The arms go in the opposite direction have of you, the puppet's head. Have you danced with yeah. a puppet before? Um, I think I have. Yeah? yeah. Really? I think. When I, did you dance I'm with a puppet? Sure. <laughs> we love dancing when it comes to puppets, don't yeah. we? The other great yeah. thing we love to teach is um, doing different funny voices ah. so it's all about looking at the puppet and you can kind of decide what voice the puppet should have so um uh, should I talk like this mm. I don't think it works maybe I should talk like mm. this <laughs> no I don't think that works oh but I think 
this voice seems to work well for me. I think it does. Yes, something I, I think about so. That voice, hey? Something about this voice works yeah. for me. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Some of the quietest, shyest mm. people can really come out of their shell when they have a puppet on their hands. And suddenly they're crazy, yeah. exciting characters. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what about deep voice? <laughs> yeah, oh, like we'll go, there. what should we do? Like, oh, hello there. Can you try that? Oh, hello, hello. there. Oh, hello. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what about a high voice? Oh, hello there, oh. how are you? Hello. Yeah, that's good. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's not you doing the acting, it's the puppet <laughs> doing the acting. <laughs> oh, nice one, Ash. You, you're a good sport play, <laughs> playing puppets with us. Oh, yeah. It's lots of fun and lots of practice. Well, I've been playing with puppets since I was three years old, so I've always loved it. I always loved the Muppets and Sesame Street and Fraggle Rock and just loved watching them on TV. <laughs> oh, what about a puppet laughing? It's kind of a bounce up and down like this. <laughs> <laughs> See, a lot, of a lot of people think you need to lip sync the, the laugh, like ha 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 ha, but we don't laugh like that. We don't go ha 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 ha. We kind of go ha ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> How about we do some walking? How to walk walking? A puppet. All right. Yeah. When a puppet walks, we'll, we'll watch breakfast. They kind yeah, of do okay. a bounce. They kind of do an up and a walking bounce like this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you see, you see, we walk across the screen like this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, bounce let's up and walk. Down. Here we go. Yeah. Hey, we can well. start a conga line. Well, yeah. And back again. Let's try back. Oh, let's go back. Okay, back. I'll go this way. Well, it's a bit yeah. trickier, isn't yeah, it's it? It's a bit tricky. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit tricky. Bouncing practice. along, walking along. Yes. It's good. I like it. Wow. Very well, nice. Well done, Ash. Thank you. <laughs> Oh wow, well, what did you think of that? That, that was, was so, so cool. cool. Oh yeah, it was. You know, that's the first time I've ever seen how puppets work. I never knew how it worked before. <laughs> Me neither. Oh. Well, you know, is it time to welcome our next guest? Yes, yes it, it is. is. Oh. Yeah, come on. Yeah, of course, Marina. Yeah. Would you like to welcome our special guest? Yeah, please put your hands together for the founder of the Forgotten Women, Teresa Hey guys. Hello, Hi. Teresa. Hi. Hey guys. Oh, you're Thank you. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Teresa, you're the founder of a charity called The Forgotten Women. Can you tell us about that? Sure. Charity? So it's a very special charity that looks, uh, tries to find housing for women who are over the age of 55. So there's lots of homeless women out there and, and we try to make sure that we get them into suitable housing. How many people are homeless in Brisbane and how many women do you hope to help? It's a great question and my first sad answer is too many people are homeless in Brisbane. At the moment we know at least there are at least 700 women who are over 55 who are currently homeless. Oh, um, no. So we hope to help all of them or as many as we can. So I believe you're organising a special fundraiser for the charity and I've heard it involves sleeping in the car. What? Wow. <laughs> no. How does that come about? Yep, so we, we kind of had this idea because we know that a lot of the women that we're trying to help end up sometimes sleeping in their car and cars are really uncomfortable, it's really hard to live out of your car. So we decided we'd challenge everybody yeah. to try and live in their car for one night and help us raise some funds to yeah. put these ladies into houses. Yeah, what? But that, that sounds fun, Teresa. Fundraisers are fun, hey? They yeah, are. But that sounds cold. Yeah, yeah cold. we've got special blankets for everyone who comes and make sure you bring along a pillow as well. And if they're really lucky, they might get to share a car with you guys because you're so furry. Yeah, be yeah, we're going to cuddle up with because of the fur. Yeah, we're very warm and cuddly. Yeah. Hey, hey Teresa, uh, how do people register for the Live Like Her Challenge? It's really simple. You just go to our webpage, which is called the Live Like Her Challenge, and you can put in all your details and we'll send you out all the information about where you're going to park your car. Or you can go to our Forgotten Women website and it'll take you there as well. Well, I want to register. Uh, Excellent. Even, no, I don't want, not forever, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Just for one challenge. night. Yeah. Just for one yeah. night. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Well, thanks so much. Well, for you're amazing. Yeah. You're Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you so much, Teresa. Awesome. Could you live in your car for one night? Register now for the Live Like Her Challenge. And for one night, sleep in your car to raise funds and awareness for the forgotten women. The 700 women over 55 years known as Brisbane's hidden homeless. Either living in a car, couch surfing, living under the threat of violence and or physically hiding. Can you take on the challenge? 
Register today for the Live Like Her Challenge and give one night of your life to help her home. Visit livelikeherchallenge.com.au. Do you guys get to do a lot of cool things at rope? We, we sure, sure do. do. Wow, do you learn how to make ropes? Like on sailing? <laughs> on your sailing? Yeah. Yep, yep, we do sailing and and same for um, like the guys do My Future, like Kale. Wow, that's amazing. Wow. You must get to learn lots of new skills, hey? Yeah, we do and we also go um, once a month on a Friday, Friday night dinner nights too. Wow. Oh, and, there's, and this is the camp. Oh, the camp. Yep. And the camp. Wow. Yep, wow, once sounds... every year. Oh, camp. That's Amazing. So fun. Wow, yeah, yeah. What's uh, Do you have a program about the skills that you do as well? Yep, we sure do. In fact, one of our programs is called Skills for Life. Skills for Life? Oh, what's that all about? <laughs> it's a special program that helps participants improve their skills in everyday life, at home and in some cases at work. Oh wow, well that sounds really interesting. Yeah, it does. I love learning. Yeah. Can we learn more about it? You sure can. Take a look at this. So Skills for Life is literally as it says. It's skills that they need to be able to live their life independently or even just to be able to do a lot more things for themselves at home. They may not want to go and live in an independent you know, living situation, but they want them to be more independent at home. That's what Skills for Life is all about. It's a 52 week program and so it takes them through step by step all the things they need to know. So it's like learning how to cook, how to safely get them prepare food. It's about shopping, it's about laundry. So they'll learn all those things so that if they want to become more independent at home, they can be. How Skills for Life come about and the whole idea of Skills for Life is we have the My Future program. Now My Future was aimed at the age group between the 18 and 25. There was nothing for the over 25s that was on office and it's all about giving the guys a chance to learn about independent living, it's about being able to do healthy eating, it's also to do with goal setting, um, positive, ident positive images which is something really really important for the guys to do. It's about socialising, it's about getting out in the community learning how to use public transport, just learning all those day-to-day -day things that we take for granted that they haven't had a chance to do. So it's kind of like the My Future program condensed into one day a week and, and sort of taken along those lines from there. Oh wow, what a great program! Hey, that was a good show, wasn't it Marina? Yeah, that was amazing! Yeah. That brings us to the end of this episode. Oh, no. I like beginnings. Yeah, I can't believe it's finished already. Oh, it's gone so fast. I oh, know, it really has. Yeah. Oh. Hey, at home, what, what did you think of the show? Make sure you comment and don't forget to like and share this video. Yeah, you can also subscribe to Rec TV on the YouTube. That way you'll never miss an episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, thank you so much, Troc and Marina, for helping us host our first birthday show. Oh, oh, that's okay, you're nice. Yeah, our pleasure, we had a great time. Yeah, I wonder oh. if we'll have a second birthday next year and we can all come together and have, have cake. Yeah, oh, definitely. yeah, that'd be great. Hey, uh, do we get to eat that birthday cake now? I want, I want some cake. No, not yet, oh, really? In a second. Oh. We need to see what's on the next episode first. Oh, okay, let's see what's on the next episode. Yeah. On the next episode of Rope TV, Ashley finds out what it takes to be a florist. We learn how to Zumba. And we check out Australia's biggest child safety lesson. Well, that looks like it's going to be a great show. Oh. You can RSVP to the event now so that you don't miss it. The details are in the chat. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, can we eat that birthday cake now? <laughs> yeah! Of course, we sure can. Oh, excellent. Yummy. See you next time. Bye. 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 
ROPE is a non-profit organisation providing support services to people living with intellectual disabilities. We empower personal development through the provision of information, education and life skills training. Our in-centre and community-based programs educate and encourage participants to develop life skills, including computer skills, social and interpersonal skills, travel and independent living skills. To find out more, visit our website or connect with us on social media. Rope TV is proudly produced and filmed at the studios of Trending Media Australia.